guys how are you i hope you are doing well welcome to my channel learn english with hanan today we're going to see lesson number one in the series of everyday english which is different ways of saying hello and goodbye which means we're going to speak like a native speaker a native speaker is someone who was born either in the united kingdom or for example in usa in australia all the english speaking countries so i promise you we are going to have fun besides learning new sentences okay so but before starting this lesson, I have to show you something very important. In our daily life, we use two forms of languages, okay? The first one is the language that we use um, in the restaurants, hotels, shops, at work, between colleagues, between you and your boss. And this language, we call it the formal language. The second one is the language that we use with our close friends, with our family members, or with a person who is the same age as you, which means you are 24 and he or she is 24 or 23. So in this situation, you don't need to use the formal language. Just in one case, this person is your boss. Okay? So, I'm going to start with the expressions of hello in the informal language. So, let's start. Number one is quite, quite popular, which is hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, guys. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> when we see a beautiful girl. Hi, handsome. Okay, this is for, for a guy, for a man. Okay, hi, beautiful for a woman and hi, handsome for a man. Okay, hey, hey, it's very popular also. Hi there or hey there. Hi there, hi there, hey there, all the time with a smile like this. Hi there, hey there. This is quite casual familiar and friendly okay now i will move to number four yes. so number four is howdy howdy i really love this expression okay i have a special memory with this uh, expression so howdy it's a typical greeting from the american one but you can use it even if you are not a cowboy. Ciao. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to move to the expressions to say hello in the formal language. So number one is good morning. When you wake up, you can even use it in the informal. I mean, with your family member, with you, when you wake up, you see someone your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, you can say, good morning, good morning, everyone. Yes, when you meet someone in the early morning, good morning, okay? Good afternoon, this is number two, good afternoon. We use it after midday, okay? Good afternoon very important and some people they pronounce it as good afternoon good afternoon okay this is also very very good to say okay and the last one is good evening so the evening it's uh, different from one country to another in which time it starts okay some people the evening starts at 6 p.m at uh, 7 p.m. at 5 p.m. I don't know exactly, but good evening. We use it in the evening. 
the last one i think this one we can use in both situations formal and informal language which is good night oh good night <laughs> when you feel sleepy of course on the phone and sometimes you are tired you want to go and sleep you say okay good night when you are speaking with someone you feel sleepy you say good night and you can say also good night and sweet dreams good night and sweet dreams okay okay now we'll move to the ways to say goodbye listen to me now in this situation I'm not going to put the expressions in the formal language and in the informal language. I'm just going to mention them and explain each one of them when do we need to use it. Is it clear now? Let's start. Bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Okay. I mean, I think. Uh, bye it's much informal than goodbye goodbye so in my opinion i don't think when i leave my boss i have to tell him bye bye no you have to say goodbye okay see you later see you later and some people they say see you later it's like you say yeah but like this see you later see you later See you soon. See you soon. I don't know soon. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe in one hour. I don't know. See you soon. See you tomorrow. For example, today is Saturday. I'm going to see you in on Sunday. Okay? Now, let's see the expressions that come after goodbye. For example, we say take care. Take care is one of the expressions which are very known, okay? When you tell someone goodbye, take care, or we say take care of yourself. Some people prefer to say just take care, and it's enough, okay? Have a good one. Have a good one. So, instead of saying have a nice day, have a super day, <laughs> have a great day, have a fun day, have a nice evening, say just have a good one, it's much better, okay, it's much better to say have a good one, talk to you soon, talk to you soon, we use it when we write email or when we speak on the phone, we see, we say, talk to you okay gotta go this is american you could understand it from my way of pronunciation <laughs> gotta go so this is a casual situation especially when you want to escape the conversation quickly so you don't want to stay anymore or you don't want to stay for a long time maybe you are bored uh, the conversation is not interesting for you or maybe you have something to do you have work you have school or maybe you are tired so you say gotta go gotta go okay catch you later catch you later it's the same thing as see you later and some people love to change change the expressions from one time to another okay so catch you later so it's not catch you it's catch ya you can also say catch you but it's much better to say catch you later and now i'm going to give you one of the most informal expressions of saying goodbye i'm out of here i'm out of here <laughs> which means i'm leaving i'm going okay yes let's keep in touch let's Keep in touch. Let's keep in touch. It's, it means let's talk. Let's send messages from one time to another. Let's have some phone calls. 
from one time to another okay i love to know what's going on in your life <laughs> okay god bless you god bless you it's a religious way of saying goodbye and it's good from one time to another to use some religious expressions okay it's very important the last expression that we're going to see in this lesson is far away this is a very difficult expression i will tell you why you're not sure that you're going to see this person again or not so you say far away the other expressions there is a probability that you're going to see that person again but for how well you just look you are seeing i'm not going to see you again okay and that's because of many reasons okay maybe you are leaving the country forever or there are many many situations so guys i hope you enjoyed this lesson and i hope you uh, got to know something new in this lesson and don't forget to tell me which expressions we are going to use in your comments below so guys thanks for watching see you next video with lesson number two okay goodbye have a nice day or have a good one